Hey everyone, so I've been asked many times, how do you keep your dreads clean? It's definitely a great question and I'm glad you asked because not many people ask about dreads or want to learn about dreads, so that shows interest, um, which means deferring the stereotypes and stigma around dreads. So keeping your dreads clean, if you want them to be clean, um, is a long, a lot of work actually. I take much better care of my hair now than I did before I had dreads and um, I don't know why that is. I think it's just because I really love my dreads. Um, my dreads are coming on about four, almost four years old now. So you can see their length. Um, they're getting there. They were probably, my hair is maybe like a little bit shorter than this when I actually um, started them so um, you can see there's a pretty big difference um, anyway so I recommend washing them about once a month thoroughly and that thoroughly can take an hour or longer in the shower depending on how fast you are um, step one pour a glass of bourbon that's what I recommend put it within reach of your shower stall that doesn't mean like on the counter outside that means like in the shower stall that's my step one step two um, make sure you have some of this. I, I do Naughty Boy Dreadlock Shampoo Bar. Um, whatever you like. This is a really great dread sh um, shampoo bar because it doesn't um, coat your hair, which will make it undread if you're a white girl like me. It doesn't necessarily want to dread. And so, you know, having a soap that doesn't contribute to it undoing itself is going to be important. Um, and I really like Naughty Boy products. Um, it also lathers up really well, which I, I really like because I can feel like it's getting in there. So I want to keep this video kind of short, so I'm not going to go into too many specifics, but basically get in the shower, do a good rinse. If you're seeing that your water is brown, I know that sounds gross, but if you're seeing that, know that you're going to do a good hour, hour and a half session in there. And I, nowadays, once a month, because I'm really active, I go camping, I do stuff. Um, I'll usually do three full washes so like three like I'll take this and I'll rub it in and out of each area like I'll I'll do something and then I'll pull my dreads up and then I'll like get under there and get under there and get under there um, and then I rinse that and rinse it and rinse it rinse it more than you got the soap in there that's the key um, you don't want things growing in your dreads and then I'll do that a full three times through um, and so I'm putting the soap in, I'm lathering it in. I usually split it, like I go down the middle and just roughly split it so that I have half my dreads on one side, half my dreads on another. So when I'm in the shower, I'm doing this, I'm like putting the soap in, putting the soap in, like after I go through and do kind of this upper area on my scalp, I'll go through and kind of rub it, kind of rub it, rub it, and then I'll put it on the outside, rub it, rub it. And so then I take my hands and I'm like squeezing it in, squeezing it in. And then I do the same thing when I rinse it, if not 10 times as much, because I want everything I just got in my dreads to get out of my dreads. And I'll do that whole process about three times, um, hence why you need the bourbon or scotch or whiskey, whatever your preference. And then when I get out, um, I'll take a towel to it and really pull as much water as I can out. If you have the opportunity to stand outside and just flip it like over and just to wring it out that way, that helps. Um, don't ever do your dreads at night. Don't ever wash them like this at night. Do it in the morning when they have all day to dry. The key to having nice, clean, good smelling dreads is washing them and also making sure that when you wash them, you give them the time that it needs to dry. Some people will put um, like a dryer bag or something over them with a hair dryer linked to it or if you have fancier ways of doing that, you could do that. Um, to actually dry them out but I just make sure I do it in the morning of a, of a sunny day um, if you don't have that opportunity at least the morning and then palm rolling so that's the last step so going through and with every single dread doing this so I'll actually pull them back into a ponytail and pull one out at a time and just palm roll palm roll palm roll because you're gonna need to pull all that you know that you just and also it gets all the wetness out so y'all feel like the wetness kind of so my dreads are newly washed so they're a little bit frizzy right now um, which is natural but they'll tighten up again you know um, but yeah so pulling all that out and all that water out by palm rolling each one of them if you can do it twice I'm lazy usually can only do it once but anyway that's how you keep them how you keep them clean and then 
after they're fully dry and you know they're fully dry, so at least 24 hours later, um, I use Marrakesh oil and I moisturize them. So my, Dred's hair needs moisturization. Can't deal without it. So anyway, that's my quick and dirty method of how to keep your dreads clean and nice looking. If you have questions, PM me below. I can put the link to the Naughty Boy Dreadlock Shampoo in there too. And um, yeah, you're welcome.